My name is Summer Custer and I'm going to read some poems from you today, for you today. A little bit about me, I live in Juneau, Alaska and I teach Spanish to middle school students. I have two semi-feral young children. Um, I like to write songs on my guitar and I'm really sensitive. Here we go. This one is called Solstice Through Aperture. I dreamed you a perfect snowflake gathered of driftwood bones. How splendid winter bedazzled you under a Chinook sky. Gilt and Chantel and high bush cranberry, you trickstered an alien ship from a cloud. Carved your own brilliance in the geometry of a dubstep song. In the same way the city plow apocalypses the tar night, you jawed through my parchment skin till I filled up with all of you, your raven starlight, your forever winter, all your right now. This next poem is called Hands. Turn a wrench, turn the engine, smells like money, fix them and flippin hard-earned profit turned, rough on the edges hands, turning valves, fish slinging hard like my old man says a 10-year-old can do it better, real man's work, blood, sweat, tears, not like them made-up jobs. I'd rather 15 more years turning hydrants and flipping cars than flip the script, cause let's face it, money's just numbers on paper. I'll tell you what's real. These hands calloused, old man strong, holding on to something that I could feel. Okay, the next one is called At the Edge. She is a swirl of Chinese silk in red, the color of luck, searching for her moonlight at a beach of the same name. She fancies herself a genie who will grant you three wishes on this first day of 2020, although I don't have the heart to tell her that the Chinese New Year isn't until the 25th, and genies are not from the Far East. But there is a coven of priestesses summoning Gaia under fractals of gold and fuchsia, and somewhere between hindsight and foresight, bubbles the size of heads entice my whirling genie to where water swallows the sun, and a sky of scarlet macaw tails is chased over the edge by a Cheshire cat moon. And um, it's in the shape of a moon, but it didn't print out right on my paper, so I can't show you. The poem's in the shape of a crescent moon. Okay, last poem. It's called The News Part Two. In a world of alternative facts, I wish you knew that Alaska burned an Armageddon sky when the governor lit the budget on fire. Eagles tangled talons while we fought over scraps. Ravens dropped dead from the sky. Did they tell you the five alarm moon of winter steals sleep through window blinds? The clinket call it Shanak's thies, growing hair on seals unborn. In the same way it grew thoughts in my head all night, I could tell you how autumn's wind snaps another branch swipes another thought from my grandmother's mind, sucks the devil cl devil's club graveyard bone dry and the life from her lips. How the stag found his doe the next day while the migratory thrush yellow like my nanny flew into my window hours after as if to say, choose your words carefully and true. We buried it behind our house under a cross and a rainbow without rain smiled down. If society could only see how the pea plant wraps its tendrils around other stalks to pull them up, understand why the trees talk to each other, share nutrients through, through their roots, pheromones they scatter over the wind, so that when they say, how do you know that the winter moon is the brightest moon? You will say, because I heard it on the news. Thank you for listening. <laughs>